Hey everybody, welcome back. To Northern Land, please, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I, did I really think that I had a cane run coming next when I forgot that Maggie existed? <sighs> well, it's okay. LY92. Line 92, JL8S. I think we've had JL8S as uh, part of our seed like three or four times already. I could just be completely, I'm not making it up, you know. There's, there's some impetus or some motivation for that uh, comment, but I really feel like I've written JL8S like a hundred times. And I mean, it's true. I mean, th there are a lot of opportunities in my like real life or my life outside of, you know, playing The Binding of Isaac that afford me the opportunity to write JL8S. It's just a common acronym I use because Josh loves eight smooches. That's just the truth. And I write that down all the time. Whenever I finish an email and I'm like, hey, you know, Josh's birthday coming up. Remember, JL8S. And they're like, oh, thanks. I forgot that. He loved eight smooches. There's also uh, Justin, Justin Timberlake. I'm on a first name basis with him because we're really close friends. I'm basically like the new Andy Samberg. Um, jo Justin loves eight smoothies. And it's easy to get like a little confused between those two, but you gotta remember one is Josh, one's Justin, and then, you know, you definitely don't want to give Josh eight smoothies. He's gonna be like, what do you, I asked for kisses and you got me these, you know, healthy organic fruit beverages. What's up with that? And you'd be like, well shit dog, I just spent like 30 bucks on smoothies. Maybe you could like, at least have one and he'll, oh, Tomo, Tomo. I'm gonna need you to get out of here, buddy. Okay, I, his asshole is seriously covering up that asshole that I'm trying to shoot. I'm not trying to shoot my cat's asshole, I'm trying to shoot this asshole who's trying to shoot me. I love Maggie runs when we have a curse room right off the bat, but we haven't had that show up yet, but, you know, the first floor is really just kind of, it's not really treading water. I mean, you could get like, uh, well, we had money equals power on our first floor last time. That ended up being a very useful item for us, but, uh... You know, it's more of just kind of like getting into the swing of things, picking up your first item, and kind of setting the tone for the run. But uh, floor two is the one that's that's obviously substantially more important in terms of like its late game and beyond implications. There's a beyond, there's a late game, and then there's a late late game. The late late game is hosted by Carson Daly. Um, there's no kind of sacrifice room at all here. Firemind. Firemind is good and terrible and interesting, and I like it. We have not gotten the prerequisite, or the, it's not a prerequisite, but the requisite one thing you love to get in order to improve your chances. On the first floor, you love to get a spirit heart. Now, we don't have any money. We do have two keys, which is awesome. But we don't have the money necessary to pick up a spirit heart. We also don't have any tinted rocks. At least that I can see, or at least that I remember. Um, but Firemind as a pickup is pretty good. It's like damage over time, plus uh, if you can actually get the explosions to happen and leave fire. Oh, that was terrible. Luckily, it's not the second floor. Uh, if, you, if you can get the explosions to happen and leave fire on the ground, then something like that can happen where basically you can pretty much screw the shit out of one of the enemies very easily. Uh, HP, or uh, blue cap here, not HP cap, two very different things that uh, tie into the same function. It's a great item. We have five HP, which is more than we ever had, I think, on the entire last run, which is kind of hilarious, but uh, that's pretty excellent. And the tiers upgrade is nice. The shot speed downgrade, you know, it is what it is. It's not that bad. We'll be on the lookout for a spirit heart. If we don't get one, then pretty much we're just trying to not take damage. I mean, not. I mean, that's not pretty much what it is. That's exactly what it is, uh, which is cumbersome, but not outside of the realm of possibility. And hopefully, we get a deal with the devil that allows us to trade HP. Mm, that's something we're gonna have to take. This can put a, a Bible inside of our deal with the devil, by the way. But I think it's a, a trade-off that's acceptable to have. Plus, we get the benefit of the spirit hearts as well. But anyway. Um, hopefully we get a deal with the devil that allows us to trade HP for items. You might be saying, Northern Lion, that's every deal with the devil. Well, you'd be... I don't really like it. Um, you'd be incorrect. Sometimes they just give us red chests, they give us spirit hearts or something like that. Now, we gotta remember, don't get too close to enemies. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why you shouldn't get too close to enemies. This time we've got a very overt one. Um, with, of course, the fact that fire mine causes explosions. Chubb dislikes smoke, by the way, in case you were curious. Firemind creates explosions, Chubb dislikes smoke, and I don't trust this pill at all. Alright, so Larry Jr., yeah, the damage over time is going to absolutely wreck him, and God forbid we create an explosion and some fire. Any Larry Jr. that goes through that is going to get killed, like, pretty much instantly. 
Uh, if I can get him to do that, there you go. See, worked out according to plan. I did get hit once, shit happens. We get some more HP, which is just kind of ridiculous at this point. And yeah, this is good. Death's touch right off the bat. Our pill, hematemesis, kind of not an issue at all. I'm gonna explore the rest of this floor. I'm trying to be a little bit more diligent. I'm trying to be a little bit more exploratory and it worked out really nicely in the last run but I think the last run I don't want to say it was unlosable but I think it's a run that was difficult to lose easier to win than to lose what we should do here is look for our secret room you know our our HP is extraordinary and our damage is more than it should be for this point of the game especially considering that we have death's touch in addition to fire mine or as a result of the fact that we have death's touch in addition to fire mine we should do our boss trap room there's probably very little opportunity for us to be able to do it later in the the game, because our HP is so high. If we find a blood bank, we can do it. We picked up two cents as a result. Really, the value here is not going to be in what's actually in that chest, because it sucked. Um, but it's going to be in seeing how our damage stacks up to the enemies that we're facing right now. And it, it, it seems good. You know, Death's Touch, is it's a great item. But sometimes I think that the damage up is secondary to the fact that it's penetrative. So it, it really helps us out on rooms that have a lot of enemies, or enemies with multiple segments. So... Um, this is gonna be easy enough. Then Larry Jr. Or Gurglings? Larry Jr. Oh, so we're gonna get a Spirit Art here, which is nice. And, uh, that's gonna put us nearly at the HP cap this early in the game, which is kind of ridiculous. And we even picked up Bloody Penny, which is fantastic. A really great trinket, especially if we do find Blood Banks. Unfortunately, we don't have the money necessary to make that happen right now. Um... But maybe in the future. So my hope, you know, I do see that there is a tinted rock there. My hope is that we can create an explosion near this tinted rock. And my hopes have been dashed, but that's alright. It's still a good trade. Actually, it's no, we're it's a good trade. I'm gonna go to our curse room as well, so we're we're definitely not gonna be in the HP cap. There's the Bible. Uh well worth the spirit heart to take the Bible out of our rotation, show so it won't show up in a situation that's more annoying in the future. And in fact. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take the Bible with me. Yumheart is more useful, and you might be thinking for things like Blood Banks, that would make it a, a preferable pickup, or a preferable item to take with us, because we didn't really pick it up, but anyway, I digress. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Bible for the ability to fly, basically. And it's, it's a bit of a weird play. Normally I, the, the only reason I ever use the Bible, for the most part, is to get it out of the rotation. I have gone in the wrong direction here. Wasn't paying attention. That's okay. I mean, we might use it to kill mom and mom's heart if we still have it by that point. Might save us a few spirit hearts, or hopefully spirit hearts at least, uh, if that comes to pass, but hey, whatever happens, happens. I think the Bible is actually the, the right choice here, weirdly enough. Mostly because we have so many Spirit Hearts that Yum Heart is basically functionally worthless outside of Blood Banks. Ah, so there's Contract from below. Curse Rooms have been pretty nice thus far. We could fly in and then we would have taken half a Spirit Heart less, but you know what? I'd rather just use it like right here. And that'll give us a little bit of extra money. Six Room Charge is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, contract from below, great pickup. Almost a, a must-take item, especially when it's free. Now, I did take a really, really dumb spirit heart worth of damage right there, but that's okay. This run is shaping up really, really nicely so far. I've deliberately not talked so much about the streak as of yet, because it really is only one game. So I'm not trying to count my chickens before they hatch or anything along those lines. Uh, especially, you know, we're so early that it can all come crashing down very, very quickly. Double key room and a shop. Let's check out our double key room. Because I don't really think I'm going to be buying anything for the shop. This rerolls stuff on the ground. Ah, that went very, very well. Use the world card to find the secret room. And then we'll open this. And that's going to give us a good amount of money and even more consumables. Now we will go to the shop for sure. Because we've got the money to buy whatever we want. And definitely, you know, like popping two of diamonds and then getting red candles seems like the obvious play here. Can bomb. Oh, we don't need to bomb our way into anything. But yeah, the, the red candle pickup is going to be great. The only thing that sucks about it is that we kind of don't need it because we already have so much damage. Then we picked up Holy Mantle. So this is... It's very, very slightly premature to call this a one run, but this may well end up being a, a pretty e early to call one run because that Holy Mantle pickup is just nuts. 
It's out of control. Now there is a tinted rock here. If we could blow it up with fire mind, that would be beautiful. If not, that's okay too. Well, we just picked up some extra bombs, which is nice because I was kind of hoping. Mm, that's good. Lockdown sucks. Sucks really hard, actually, but uh, I was kind of hoping to come down here and trade a bomb for a key as well, and there's a small chance that we might find our second secret room, although it has a tendency to be a little closer to our boss room. That's okay. Let's, uh, let's come back up here. We're going to check out our secret room because the money is important. This is from a world card, not from a map or anything like that. All right, well, it's too bad there's no blood bank here because that would be awesome. Alas, we will continue onwards. These are, like, the game's been very kind about giving us pretty much the easiest enemies we could possibly hope to face if we have piercing shots. Like, all of these enemies are just incredibly simple. Emperor card is awesome, and I know that people are going to be mad about this, but Emperor card makes it so that, uh, you know, we do have the potentiality of going to boss rush, and this might be one of those overpowered runs where it kind of makes sense. I'm going to stick with Bloody Penny because I do want to play Blood Banks. Uh, safety cap is the, or liberty cap, I should say, is the other option. Triple A battery is good, but it doesn't, it, it's the best of the three trinkets in most situations, but it doesn't help us with red candle at all. So, who cares? Two more bombs. Hoping for a deal with the devil here, not necessarily expecting a deal with the devil here. Either way, though. Now, I very nearly got hit there. Wouldn't have been that bad, because we have Holy Mantle, but would have been annoying, nonetheless. Does, does Firemine still work? Oh, yeah, it still works. I haven't seen any explosions in a while, so I was wondering what's up with that, but I guess it's just, uh, you know, random chance, basically. Very easy fight against Dark One with a range upgrade, which is not uh, superb, but that's okay. Time is fine. I know I'm. it seems like I'm backtracking on that not going to worry about boss rush promise that I made recently, but in this situation, you know, there's an exception to every rule, mostly. And uh, there's an exception to the rule that there's an exception to every rule, let's put it that way. But uh, I do think that we're probably, uh, it's not going to be my major focus, but we're probably in a position where I can make boss rush. It'll work. And if we can, we will. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to force it, just if we happen to kill the rooms quickly enough to get to the boss room early, I'll talk about it. I know people are so over boss rush at this point, and it really, you know, I played more diligently when I was on the plane, and I was like, this is nice. This is just, it's less of like your James Dean style, you know, rebel without a cause Isaac play, and more just like, hey slugger, make sure you do your homework, okay dad, and more like that kind of style of Isaac, which, it works. You know, I can't argue that it works. And I'm still, I'm not a min-maxi type dude, but if we can min our maxis just a little bit, maybe we can find a happy medium. In any case, as of right now, the game has obviously been super kind. The early death's touch is huge. Uh, the free contract from below is uh, maybe not as huge, but still quite large. You know, if if the early death's touch was like an African elephant, then the early contract from below, especially for free, probably more along the lines of like your standard uh, Namibian hippopotamus. So it's still, it's a big thing for us, you know, it's certainly not a finch or something like that. But that's okay, let's move it along here. Past the sea of ridiculous metaphors and into the bay of good progress. Inside our shop we have a 9 volt and there's options. Let me take there's options. I mean, it's not even a contest because we have no use for 9 volts, really, um, but there's options is good in its own right as well. Especially, you know, in a situation like that last floor, instead of picking up a range upgrade, which is functionally not super great for us, we would have found ourselves in a position where maybe we would have had a choice between a range upgrade in Mom's heel and a range upgrade in Mom's panties. In my spaghetti. Now, I, I recognize, by the way, that I'm barely using Red Candle at all, but at the same time, I think you still have to admit that it was probably a better choice than the Bible for us. So I don't feel... I don't feel like I've made a mistake in terms of the spacebar items that I've chosen. I feel like we've had a choice between a few spacebar items, but none of them really fit our use on this run. But at least Red Candle gives us some spare damage and some extra damage over time. It's, it's nice. It's very nice to have it. Wow. Um, well, we're going to take... 
Cat of Nine Tails. It wasn't a, an open and shut case. Secret room can't be there, I think. Um, it, it wasn't an open and shut case. Latchkey is pretty good, mostly for the luck upgrade. Uh, but in a lot of cases, the keys and spirit hearts come in handy as well, of course. But uh, I think uh, I think the damage up is probably largely universally agreed upon to be a better thing for us right now. Hoping that we find a... I was going to say hoping that we find an arcade. Instead, we found a blood bank. That's pretty much the whole reason I wanted there to be an arcade. So I'm not going to complain too much about this. And you know what? This is my commitment to you that we're not going to care as much about boss rush. I am going to take this time to play the arcade as much as it needs to be played. And then I'm going to do boss trap room at the same... Well, not at the same time because that would be crazy. Um, but I'm going to do boss rush or boss trap as well. Just to make sure that I'm doing my due diligence here. So the money is going to be nice. We may or may not get a payout. Either way, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, where is our boss? It's down here. Not boss, boss, trap. You get the idea. So I'm hoping for some red chests. Maybe a little bit of head start on the guppy train. It's not really a head start considering where we are in the game, I guess. But uh, instead, we're going to get a trinket that is not very useful at all. Ah, holy mantle. I forgot that we even had it. Holy Mantle does not work on Blood Banks, by the way. As much as I wish it did, and I really, really wish it did. Not that it needs it. I mean, Holy Mantle is already an amazing item. I feel like if you're gonna uh, make changes to Holy Mantle, probably not the best to make changes that actually make Holy Mantle even more powerful than it already is. Lest it become considered like a prerequisite for beating the Lost, which it isn't. It really isn't, but... Uh, that's that's how a lot of people treat it. Well, we got a lot of uh, red hearts that we can come back here with and, you know, get a little bit of money out of it, get a few more red hearts, trade those for an incrementally less amount of money, and then just repeat the process until we end up having to do a little bit more exploration. That's unfortunate. Yeah, and that's the prophecy is pretty much coming true right now. We're up to 47 cents, which is nothing to sneeze at. Are there enough red hearts up here for me to... Yeah, I think we can get like another full play, basically. Ah, for one bomb. This is probably worth it. You know, if you consider a bomb... Okie dokie. That was unexpected. Wow, and common cold for the price of on the house. That is a pretty solid get. Now, the question is, is there any way that I can get those red hearts? Well, I mean, the question is, do I care, I guess, now that I got such a good upgrade out of it? But hopefully this didn't screw me. I can always Emperor card if I have to, but I would rather not if possible. I think when we go up, the trap door will stay closed for a minute so we can sneak out of there. Yeah. All right. You might be of the mind that I should open this double key room, and I can understand that perspective, but I'm going to choose to not. Because we're a little low on keys, and it's looking increasingly like shops are going to be worthwhile. So, wow. We did get one payout there. Um, we're getting a lot of money out of our, our blood banks here. Enough to basically pay for shops for the rest of the game. I would prefer to not do this like that, but that's okay. IV bag is actually like... Red, red candle's still better. But IV bag, we can almost play it endlessly. I think I might just try to get to like 99 cents right here. We need a head start though. There is a red heart in here, good. All right, come on, come on. All right, we got exactly what we paid for out of it. That's pretty solid. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take this as far as it'll go. If we get to 99 cents, fantastic. If we get less than 99 cents, hey, at least we're making IV bag work for us, which doesn't always happen. Plus, if we, if we keep ourselves low on HP, we might be able to get to the point where we can always go into boss trap rooms. That sucks. All right, so we got to 80 cents. I really, there was a time there where I thought that that was going to be able to complete it. And then uh, there's another red heart up here. I'll do it. I know we're taking forever now. That's the balance. You know, some people say you go too fast. Some people say you take too long. That's all right. We're going to be able to get at least like another five cents out of this. Ooh, another six cents. Another seven cents. Okay, well, we got seven cents out of it. That's all right. We're at the 87 cents now. We can buy whatever we want from the shop forever. 
which means we could buy a key, but I'm still going to choose not to buy a key and just be okay with the keys that we've got. And now I'm going to be hoping that money equals power shows up. It's not the craziest thing in the world, considering that uh, you oftentimes get the similar items when you do runs that are similar. And maybe that's just bullshit, but it really does feel like sometimes you boot it up and you get the same item six times in one day. But, they, you know, there's probably some kind of bias just happening there that I'm not 100% familiar with. Uh, or at least not enough to just call it up out of nowhere here. With seven bombs, it is kind of tempting to maybe take a crack at maybe a second secret room. Could be here. I wouldn't be surprised if it were here. I'm a little surprised that it's not there, to be honest with you. Yeah, and the, the other secret room won't be down there. So we took forever there, but I think we, do, we did good on that floor. We did well, I should say. Let's check out our curse room. They've been great so far. Uh, this one, again, proves that there's an exception to every rule, I suppose. And, uh, never mind, I forgot that we had Holy Mantle, so... Ah, I, bot I botched it a little bit. I'll explain why. This is actually excellent. Um, I botched it because with Holy Mantle, you just walk into the curse room, you take damage. But if you walk into the curse room after walking into another room, you don't. Like, Holy Mantle takes one room to set itself on the floor, which is really weird, but, um, you know, it's just the way it is, basically. So, I, I did take some unnecessary damage there. Forgot that I had Holy Mantle, which is always, you know, a nice position to be in, I guess. Emperor card does beat Chariot card. Hoping that we get just like an HP upgrade here. That'd be fine by me. Trying to get out of the way whenever he puts something down, just in case it's, uh, you know, a live bomb. Does happen. Probably could get some use out of the Chariot card, but at the same time. Like, we're doing so much damage that the Chariot card, I think, would actually slow me down a little bit. Plus, it's cumbersome to go back, trade cards. Oh, it's the hardest thing in the whole world is basically what I'm getting at here. Um, it's worth it, I think. Now we have a surplus of keys. And that's going to be nice, you know? We traded one key for the ability to never have to use keys again on this floor. Now, if we find a double key room on this floor, I'll be a very happy individual. Luckily, Holy Mantle exists, so I didn't <laughs> take any damage on the first hit, although the second one did uh, hit me pretty hard. We'll take uh, Virgo here. I'm trying to remember. I got them confused for a while, and now, because I was confused, I'm confused again. Virgo and Cancer both say you feel protected, right? Or was one say you feel invigorated? Anyway, um, they both have effects. One of them is Celtic Cross, one of them is Good Pills. I think Virgo is Celtic Cross. Which is nice, you know? It helps out again for playing Blood Banks. Not that this run is focused on it, but we seem to be getting a lot of items, you know, and trinkets for that matter, that make it easy for us to, to play Blood Banks as much as possible. Now we just need money equals power to make it even better, but... Um, yeah, anything that gives us some in, invulnerability is, is really nice, especially when we're dealing with an item like Fire Mine that's going to blow up in my face from time to time. Do we know what any of these pills are? That one's full health. It's always dangerous to take it... Right off the bat, that one's pretty fly. Hey, worked out very nicely for us. Now, if there's one thing, you know, if I have a New Year's resolution for this run right here, my new run resolution is use Red Candle a little bit more effectively. I'm kind of just throwing it out there willy-nilly right now, but we should be using it to, like, set up bosses that jump so that they jump right into it. If we can do that, then, then I'll be happy. That's not our secret room, huh? That is also not our secret room. That's all right. Boss Rush is done, so we can stop stressing out about the fact that I'm stressing out about the fact that Boss Rush is the thing. Boss Rush exists. You know, that was a negative thing. But I'm happy that we at least got all four skulls. That doesn't always happen with the way that I'm placing my bombs. All right, so you guys are done. I... I had to let damage over time kill him because I was just incredulous at that point. Now this floor, we should be pretty much guaranteed to deal with the devil. We took a deal with the devil on the second floor and have not gotten one since despite not taking red hard damage. At least to the best of my memory here, we haven't taken any red hard damage. Um, I don't know how we would, honestly, considering how many uh, spirit hearts we have kind of backing us up right here. So... I guess on the last floor, we probably just got hit by that, like, negative... Unless I'm missing something, we probably just got hit by that negative 
25% chance. Two tiers upgrade pills. Thank you, contract from below. Uh, the negative 25% chance to get a blood bank or a deal with the devil if you had a deal with the devil two floors ago. 50% one floor ago. 25% two floors ago. I'm not going to take broken stopwatch. I just find it kind of annoying, honestly. It's not bad. Maybe Virgo does make it so all pills are good. And I've got them backwards. I mean, all pills since we've taken it have been good. Am I learning independently here? Or am I attributing to uh, mechanics something that's actually just happening based on random chance? I do think the broken stopwatch is, is largely good, but I just I find it kind of annoying. And if, if we don't need it, then I'm not going to get it. Not that we need to save our money for anything. The compass is a nice pickup, of course. We don't have the map, but we have the compass. You can only have one. It's probably the one you want. Let's see what we got. The bloat. Um, of course, you know, like, nearly universally regarded as maybe the most annoying enemy that you can face on this floor. Most annoying boss you can face on this floor, I should say. But a uh, combination of status effects, good damage, should take him out without us taking damage. Plus, we have Holy Mantle, so even one hit from the eye doesn't really matter. And, oh, two hits from the eyes matters a little bit, but it's not going to ruin our deal with the devil chance. We'll absolutely take the torn photo for the DPS upgrade. And uh, I think we just want ceremonial robes here. The black heart's kind of like a lateral move for us, considering we were nearly at the HP cap, but the damage upgrade is pivotal. So a great situation. Curse of the Unknown. Yeah, it's not really that bothersome, because our HP, we know our HP is great. We're at the HP cap right now. Uh, and even if we didn't pay attention to our HP, we would know, you know, we just picked up ceremonial robes. Which means that there's a very good chance that we would be strong enough to not take damage anyway. Alright. These pills good? Hematemesis. That's a luck upgrade. It's a good pill. Maybe these are good pills. I don't know. I'm not going to blow those up. Um, just because I you know, I already have the Emperor card. So we can just stick with that and use that uh, on a floor of importance. I don't see a blood bank on this floor. So my master you know, arcade plans didn't really work out that well for us on this run. But we're still going to... You know, see the benefits of that one blood bank plus IV bag pickup that we had uh, as we're able to buy every single item we come across. There is a double key room of sorts up here. It's not a dice room. And we'll definitely be able to open it. Should not be able to get into our boss trap room. That's okay. Let's see what we got up here. Uh, I don't even think I need to blow that up to look for spirit arts, to be honest with you, because we're already sitting pretty here. Let's let's see what our shop has first, just in case. I don't know, just in case of what beats me. But I already made the move, so let's do it. Pinky eye, huh? I'll take hive mind, just because I, I don't really see a reason not to. That ended up being a luck up pill, which is awesome. And let's just buy a key just to have it. We don't need anything else. You know what? We'll, we'll donate some more. Just to keep everybody happy here. If we end up getting money equals power, I think we're still going to have enough damage. I mean, we're going to have the same damage that we have right now, which is enough damage to make the run work out just fine. So, uh, this this is A-OK -okay in my book. We're up to 150. Really making progress here. I mean, I'm never going to use this bank. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm such a slave to, to public opinion, you know? I, I'm putting my money into the bank. I'm never going to blow it up. I'm, ne I'm certainly never going to blow it up to the point where I get 165 cents out of it. At least that's my perception on it right now. Maybe... My strategy will change as we get further into the game. I don't know. This is awesome. Yeah, this is well worth a, our two... Well, three keys. Four keys. To get two keys back. So we spent two keys. And we gained one key and a little bit of money. And a ton of red hearts, admittedly. There's a bomb in there as well that I should probably get. Eh, it ended up not being worth it, actually. But that's okay. We only lost one key in the process. We gained some bombs. Maybe it was worth it. Not by much, though. So really, uh, we only have our item room left on this floor. And then a hopeful deal with the devil after the mom fight, although we'll have a, a little bit of a diminished chance for that to happen. Yeah, I mean, eh, you know, it's possible we could bomb our way into the boss rush room. I prefer to do boss rush before the mom fight, just in case we got to deal with the devil after the... Uh, just in case we got to deal with the devil after the mom fight, that was actually like, uh, 
Guppy items. We got a guppy item. Nah. All right, never mind. So I'm gonna get. I'm not using red candle effectively, so I'm gonna get rid of it for the shears. Honestly, I love the shears. I think the damage that they do is incredible, and um, I rarely find myself in a position where I can actually take the shears as my spacebar items. Usually, I have something more immediately useful, um, which is a shame because I think the shears are are pretty good. So I'm going to take him. This is not like a compromise, like, oh, I'm so good to you guys. I'm going to take this item I don't even like. No, the shears are good, man. The AI, a little wonky on them. So, like, specifically for a fight against Mom's foot here, it's not going to be that good. But for, uh, like, more stationary or at least less mobile bosses, they don't have to stand completely still. Um, it, it's going to be great, but anyway. I think most people agree that the shears are pretty good. So I'm not, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir there. We'll take our Polaroid. Emperor card, usually I like to pop that on the cathedral, but if we're on an XL floor, which we're not, um, I, I would have adjusted that, but that's okay. So, I, you know what, let's call it. It's a one run. Um, not because of the shears pickup, but because of the fact that... Ooh, nah, it's not so good. Um, but because of the fact everything's just working in conjunction. There's nothing really that stands out on this run except for the scythes. And Holy Mantle, I guess. But, you know, just a lot... We don't have... It's not like a lot of shitty items working together. It's more like a lot of, like, very, very good items working together to, to create something that's very, 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 very good. That was a terrible way to explain that. Ah, infamy. You gotta get it? <laughs> not, not like it's necessary, but you literally have to get it once per run, apparently. Free Guppy's Collar. You know, it's it's good. I'm going to get these just because I know that some of the pills are good. I think the orange ones might be paralysis. So we don't want that. But we want our tears upgrades. They are paralysis. So we don't want that. But we'll take this one over here. I think paralysis still counts as a good pill though, doesn't it? Wow. Lucky us. Um, yeah, this is fine. Every everything's going fantastically here. The guppy's color pickup means that there is a slightly better chance that we become guppy via our... Uh, deal with the devil right here is probably the most likely situation, but we will be going to curse rooms as often as we find them. Conquest. That sucks the big one. Take this opportunity to look for tinted rocks, which do not exist. Would love to have uh, the shears ready here, but it's unlikely to make much of a difference. If we could just get some damage over time, I'd be an extremely happy individual. There we go. That'll probably finish him off. Does poison damage do damage when they're off screen? I think it would, so I guess it just dissipated really quickly. Uh, yeah, thank you, there's options, I forgot about that. Rotten Baby. Well worth picking up, but it's it's gonna put a dent in our guppy plans, that's for sure. So we got Rotten Baby and a Tears Upgrade. Very solid pickups for the cost of, effectively, one Spirit Heart, sorta. Of. I mean, it was technically one Red Heart, but... It only takes one Spirit Heart off the top for us. Yeah, it, it, it's a terrible way to explain it. And we do have a blood bank. Uh, with Bloody Penny, you might be saying that's a smart play, but really, I don't know what we'd be expecting to get. You know, what are, what are we going to do with another IV bag? Nothing. What are we going to do with another HP? Have another HP, but it, it's, it's relatively meaningless at this point. Speed upgrade. Is the game really trying to fuck with me? After I said that, like, uh, you know, this is how cancer works, this is how vertigo works. It gives me all technically good pills. With with vertigo or with Virgo, not vertigo. I think it might be fucking with me. That's okay though. I appreciate it. I understand it. So it's already like I, I hate to write out this run already, but it's looking so good that I can already look ahead to that cane run. Start feeling, you know, pretty good about getting through the early sections of this ten character rotation. I mean, I made a very bold claim, or I set a very uh, ambitious goal in the last episode saying I wanted to have at some point in in 2015 a 100 plus win streak so I'm not expecting that to happen right now but if, if we could even knock off like another character rotation right now that would uh, make me feel great about our overall uh, chances for success about you make me feel like the progress has been good so far very glad we bought hive mind by the way um, mostly the hive mind pickup was like a respect buy because we have enough money to buy whatever we want I bought it, and then we got Rotten Baby. Not like that's going to be the difference between a one run and a lost run. Or should I say a one run and a doomed run, but uh, it's nice. 
The, d the extra damage helps out. Does, do flies do five times our tier damage with Hive Mind? If so, that's kind of ridiculous. Now, I understand the reasoning, by the way. We should go back to our blood bank. We got a lot of red hearts sitting around, but I'm not going to do it because, again, the best case scenario, I don't stand to gain anything really meaningful. If I end up losing by one HP, by that I mean basically like losing and Blue Baby is one hit away from death or something like that, um, then I'll feel bad. For now, though, up to the next floor. Nah, oh, I am going to use the Emperor right here, right. By the way, I should apologize in advance. There may be some construction noises soon. As soon as we got back from uh, our flights, we came into our hotel, or not our hotel room, our apartment, and then just immediately heard like, and apparently there's some kind of, I don't know, construction going on on our apartment roof. For reasons unbeknownst. I, I hate to sound incredulous about it, because it probably, you know, there's probably a good reason for it. Fuck if I know what it is, though. It seemed like a perfectly fine roof as far as I know, but I don't want our shit to start leaking or, you know, all of our plumbing to break or something like that. So by all means, I'm assuming our landlord wouldn't spend the money on the construction unless it were necessary. Ooh, okay, we got lucky. Well, anyway, this is a super easy fight. Um, we'll have shears ready, probably for the blue baby boss fight. Not that it'll matter, because, I, I mean, the blue baby boss fight maybe is not even where we want to use the shears. Maybe we want to use it on, like, a double cage room instead. Double adversary. Those rooms are harder than the blue baby fight, in my opinion. Terrible. Wow. I, I was just like, maybe if I stand still and like guess where the beam is, I'll, I'll do fine. And it ended up working out. Let's try it again. We got a holy mantle. In. Oh, no. You know what? We did take damage there. I just didn't notice. And I thought I was the, you know, hottest thing since toasted and sliced bread. Down to the next floor. So far, so good. No rerolls, obviously. But we have uh, my reflection. We don't have lump of coal, but I'll probably take it anyway. Guillotine. Parasite, soy milk. Uh -huh. I'll take Parasite. And I'll take my reflection. This is like all dub... Okay, Parasite's good. Everything else is like totally dubious options. Guillotine, some good, some bad. Soy milk, some good, some bad. My reflection, some good, some bad. What a weird, unintentionally themed selection of items. So we're trying to kill Blue Famine uh, last, which worked out for us. The soy milk pickup... I don't know, man. Thank God we didn't have Curse of the Blind. That's all I'm going to say there. It might be a funny pickup, but at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can if I can take it in good conscience, you know? I do enjoy winning. Our rate of fire is already so good. To lower our damage so much, I don't know. I really wish we had Lump of Coal. Or you know, Actually, you know what would be even better? Rubber Cement would be a lot of fun here. Because we're creating all these... Uh, you know, parasite shots that look super cool, but they're not really coming back and dealing that much damage, even though we do have my reflection. But if we could just pick up rubber cement and these shots start bouncing off the walls and being able to hit more than once, I think that it works like that. Um, that would be awesome. Or, you know, just filling the screen for that matter. I don't even need the, the extra damage out of it. Our DPS output is already great. Oh, you have no chance at all. I forgot we had fire mine as well, so... Um, you know, that is doing a little bit of damage over time. It's a little bit hard to see at some points. I think probably obviously so. Uh, yeah, we should be safe if we stand, like, right here. Not many enemies, uh, can survive too long with this torrent of disaster coming for them. Blast Assist is, uh, unlikely to be one of them. And it's, of course, really, really nice that we have Holy Mantle as well. So we get the opportunity to make, you know, at least one mistake on every room and not be punished for it. Weirdly enough, even without the D6, this run ended up being probably stronger than our last run. That's okay, though. In fact, if we can mix and match some of the items, that'd be great. I'll take money equals power from the last run, port it over to this one, and then I'll take soy milk from this one and port it over to the last one where we had Libra. And then there you go. You created two absurdly powerful runs right there. Now, we've had a few luck downgrade. Oh, we've had one luck downgrade. And we've had one or two... Yeah, I think we've had two luck upgrades, so I'm not really expecting a huge gain here in terms of, like, you know, chest drops. But for every chest drop we get, we get two because of contract from below. So if we could just, if we could even get one of those drops over the course of this floor, that would be great. But, I mean, it's largely an ego thing. We're going to win anyway. I really thought this would be the end of the floor. But it's not. But that's okay. I'm having a lot of fun on this run. 
High rate of fire, lots of status effects. It's like the ideal Isaac run. <clears throat> From my perspective, that is. Nothing there. Well, I mean, there's some, literally something, but functionally nothing. Which is also what I've described myself as in terms of my job title on my business cards. Literally something, but functionally just a total waste of space. Now, good stuff. Uh, zero percent chance we die against Blue Baby. I mean, it's not a mathematical zero, but it's very unlikely. For our purposes, it's zero. It's like picking a number between one and ten. You know, somebody says pick a number between 1 and 10, you say 40. There's a chance they're an asshole and chose 40 just to be an asshole and a dick and a piece of shit, basically. But, um, you know, most of the time it's not going to do anything for you. Anyway, good win. We'll be back with a cane run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.